Is the idea of saving for a large down payment holding you back from buying a home right now? You may be eager to take advantage of today's low mortgage rates, but the thought of needing a large down payment may make you want to pump the brakes. Today, there's still a common myth that you have to come up with 20% of the total sales price for your down payment. This means that people who could buy a home may be putting their plans on hold because they don't have that much saved yet. The reality is, whether you're looking for your first home or you've purchased one before, you most likely don't need to put 20% down. Here's why. According to Freddie Mac, the most damaging down payment myth since it stops the home buying process before it can start is the belief that 20% is necessary. If saving that much money sounds daunting, potential home buyers might give up on the dream of home ownership before they ever begin, but they don't have to. Data in the 2020 profile of home buyers and sellers from the National Association of Realtors, the NAR, indicates that the medium down payment actually hasn't been 20% since 2005. And even then, that was for repeat buyers, not first-time home buyers. As we can see, the median down payment was the lowest for the first-time home buyers, with 2020 percentage coming in at 7%. If you're a first-time buyer and still putting down 7%, it may still seem high. Understand that there are programs that allow qualified buyers to purchase a home with a down payment as low as 3.5%. Options like VA loans and USDA loans with no down payment requirements exist for qualified applicants. It's important for potential home buyers, whether they're repeat or first time buyers, to know that they likely don't need to put 20% down of the purchase price, but they do need to do their homework to understand the options available. Be sure to work with trusted professionals from the start to learn what you may qualify for in the home buying process. The bottom line to all of this is don't let the down payment myths keep you from hitting your home ownership goals. If you're hoping to buy a home this year, let's connect to review your options.